Hey guys, I just tried the Apple Vision Pro at my nearest Apple store, and it's pretty dope, but I won't be getting it anytime soon. So in order to try out the Apple Vision Pro, I had reserved for a demo session at my nearest Apple store. So I just went on their website and reserved the Apple Vision Pro demo. So when I went in, they checked me in and there were other people using it as well. So I, I had to wait a little bit, but once it was ready for me, the first thing we did was scan my face. I had to rotate my face up, down, left, right, so they can get the accurate size for the light shield. So it will fit my face perfectly. And once that was done, it it took about like five minutes for them to actually get the fitted Vision Pro for myself. Once I got the Vision Pro, first thing they told me was how to navigate it. We practiced pinching my fingers together. We practiced looking around because a lot of it is the eye tracking and hand tracking. So just practiced, you know, zooming in with both fingers, zooming out with both fingers and just the navigation aspects of it. So practice that real quick. So once I put on the headset itself, the first thing I saw were just dots on the screen, which basically prepared me to practice the hand tracking and eye tracking basically there were dots that came in like a circular formation and you just look at each dot and you touch your fingers together your index finger and thumb and that's how you select and then you release and so I practiced that with multiple dots and I did that a few times and each time I was told to try to do it faster and faster and by the end of it I was getting pretty good at it I was surprised how naturally it came to me but beforehand I had seen a lot of reviews and and other users using it on YouTube and whatnot so so going into it, I already kind of knew what to expect and what to do. But all in all, it was still very natural. You didn't have any extra handheld device or controllers or anything like that. It's all just your, your hands and your eye tracking. And to be honest, the eye tracking and hand tracking was amazing. Like it felt like magic. Like it's, it's really good. It was surprisingly good. So right off the bat, once you go through that demo of, you know, practicing your eye tracking and hand tracking, you scan both of your hands. So the, the Vision Pro knows, you know, where your hands are and if it ever comes on screen it can mask that out so you place your hands in front of you and it captures it or scans it and then right off the bat I saw a big hello typical Apple style and then I finally saw the home screen for the first time with the circular icons very colorful new type of kind of a 3d feel each time you look at it it kind of like pops a little bit at you and so that's that's really cool so the first application we tried out was the photos application so i looked at the photos application i tapped my fingers together to select it and once the application opened up we looked at various photos we looked at immersive videos and spatial photos and videos you know i got to practice zooming in zooming out and looking in all directions specifically for panorama photos like those look really cool the spatial photos and the videos seemed like you were actually there like the videos where you can actually hear the sound it really felt like I was there and I was surprised how good the audio was although the audio does bleed a little so the people around you can also hear it a little bit but for the most part like for me it was a good experience so spatial photos and videos were really cool it felt like I was actually there practicing zooming in zooming out it took me a second but once you kind of get the idea that that's also comes naturally you're the gestures are kind of similar to how you do it on an iPhone, but rather than with one hand, you're using both of your hands now to pinch in and out. They showed me different types of videos. They showed me ones that were the spatial videos that were captured by the Vision Pro. And then they also showed me ones that were captured by the iPhone 15 Pro. In my opinion, I felt like the Vision Pro ones looked a lot cooler or they were a lot more closer and they were a lot more like a 3D kind of vibe. It felt like I was there. Whereas the one that was taken by the iPhone felt more like a video video even though it was a 3d video it felt more like a video or maybe I wasn't zoomed in close enough but I did notice a slight difference after the photos app I got to try out the environments so I turned this knob on the top right corner of the headset and you turn the knob all the way and it turns on the immersive environment I believe I was in Mount Hood the first time so Mount Hood is what I got into there's also Joshua trees the white sands the beach water light there's various environments that you can try out. I really liked Mount Hood was really cool. The moon's also really cool as well. So I tried those out, got to sort of play around with it. In the meantime, I got to also try out facial computing aspects of it. So this whole
whole time, uh, we had not closed out the Photos app. We kind of just put the Photos app to the left of me. So if I turn my head to the left, then I could see the Photos app. So it was kind of like out of my view when I was looking straight, but it was still there. And that was kind of cool to see. Like it's aware of your space. So you can leave the Photos app there and still do other things. After that, we closed everything. So we closed the Photos app and we went right into the Apple TV application. And that's when we got to try out various types of videos. So I watched Avatar in the cinema mode and you can kind of choose which seat positions you want to be in. And I believe I selected like all the way back and kind of like a big screen kind of vibe. So that was pretty cool to see. And lastly, we tried out a bunch of immersive videos, trailer of collections of videos. That was probably the coolest thing I saw the whole time because it felt like you were really there. It had your full view, although it wasn't like a 360. Like I tried to kind of like look to the corners and you can kind of you start to see the black edges. But for the most part, it filled my vision, like what was in front of me and, and somewhat to my sides and stuff. It felt like I was there. There was like a bear that came into the water or a lake and it felt like I was right there. Again, the sound quality the whole time was really good. So it felt like I was like really there. And that's where like the demo kind of ended. I think that was the coolest thing. So if they have more content, I know right now they don't have like as many applications or as much content like this. So hopefully in the future, once they have more content, like that could be really cool. If they made a full movie in like immersive mode, like that would be spectacular. Anyway, so that was my experience in terms of the demo. But overall, my thoughts and impressions of it, overall, like it's totally futuristic. This is definitely the next big thing. And I really hope in the future, you know, Apple improves it. I mean, this is Apple, so I'm sure every year or I don't know if they're going to do it like the iPhone where every year they upgrade it. So hopefully, I mean, hopefully they do, but it's definitely the future and I can see it come to a point where I don't think we have the technology for it yet, but I could see it come to a point where they're just like regular glasses or, or at least close to regular glasses. But yeah, so initial thoughts, it's really cool and the design is really nice. It felt very solid, very fresh and new. It's just amazing how much technology is really compact in this device. I mean, even for today's standards, like it has so much futuristic technology in there and I can only see, you know, where it gets to in the near future, like five to six years or five to 10 years. So in terms of things that I liked and things I didn't like, first off, I really like the spatial videos and photos. Like that's really cool. And it makes sense for an AR VR headset. Like having 3D stuff is really cool. Also, I like the spatial computing in general, the idea of having different windows in like a certain location and them being there. You put an application in a certain location and it stays there. So the spatial computing aspects of it is really cool. And I've seen this in the demos. I did not get to try this myself, but being able to extend your laptop or your MacBook to larger than life screen and being able to use it with your keyboard and mice. I feel like that would be one of the reasons I would use it. And the sound quality was surprisingly good. I really liked that. And I was blown away by the eye tracking and hand tracking. Like it felt like magic. Like I was surprised how accurate they were. In terms of things I didn't like or things I'm hoping will get better in the future. I don't know if it was just me or my context is probably outdated or something, but a lot of the times it didn't seem as clear as I have expected. In terms of the applications, like when I had the photos application, like that was clear and it looked very clean, like almost realistic, like 4K view. So that was cool. But some of the videos I saw, it didn't seem like it was fully made for such a large screen. It felt a little pixelated at times. Or maybe it was doing the thing where wherever you look, that aspect is clear. But as you look away, the part that you looked away from kind of blurs out. So maybe that's what I was kind of looking at. But there were at times it felt like it wasn't as clear as it should have been. So I'm sure they're going to improve that. Although the sound is surprisingly good, it does bleed out. So hopefully they'll fix that. But honestly, if I were to use it, I would probably just use it with AirPods and they're much better than the sound system on the device itself. But another thing I didn't like was the headband looked cool, but it definitely put a lot of weight on my face and it didn't feel comfortable the whole time. Like uh, starting out, it was fine, but eventually I, I can start to feel the weight on my face and I didn't like that. So they do give like a separate headband, but that does mess up your hair. I guess both of them do mess up your hair, but the other one is more ideal for longer use. So hopefully maybe they will make different type of headbands and stuff available in the near future. The other thing at the current time, I mean, it is a first generation device, but it definitely does not have as much applications currently. So I hope developers make more soon. 
The battery pack is a little annoying, like having to carry an external battery and also it only lasts like two hours. So hopefully they'll have like a bigger battery. Overall, the device is like very well built and it's just amazing how much technology is put into this one device. Technology grows exponentially. So hopefully in the near future, once the technology has got better and more advanced, like with all these AI advances we have seen already, if all this is implemented into this device, I could see it being a lot more useful useful you know a lot more useful cases in in the near future and more people would use it and lastly i do want to talk about the field of view first going into it i thought it would be like a full 360 kind of vibe but no i think it's more 270 or maybe even less but it was not 360 and i was kind of expecting that it is 360 in terms of like you can have applications in front of you behind you you know left to right in all directions so it's 360 in that sense because it is like a spatial computer but when it came to like videos it wasn't fully like 360 but i guess it makes sense because i guess you don't really want full 360 movie well having said all that though i still think it's a really cool device it's definitely futuristic the technology is amazing like i just want to give props to all apple engineers for putting such a futuristic device together i don't think we appreciate that enough people are amazing in general and having engineers engineer the future is really cool to see like these are things we have seen in the movies and now it's a reality so I really see a lot of potential for this device in the near future and hopefully you know it gets better and better and to a point where it's just like regular glasses like that's the day I'm waiting for so I won't be buying it anytime soon because it is also super expensive but I also think the technology overall isn't fully there yet so once the technology gets better hopefully the price will get down and it's not as bulky it's not as you know it's 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 a first generation device it has a lot of potential to get better so I have no doubt that the second version will be way better than this considering the first generation can already do so much that is like futuristic and mind blown i can only imagine how cool the next version would be so i'm definitely looking forward to that but overall i had a really fun experience demoing it out everyone there was super excited to try out this first generation device and so was i because i went in watching all these videos and it looked cool and but actually trying it out for myself is a completely different experience i would encourage you guys to go out there and actually try it out for yourself and let me know what you guys think and feel about the device like would you get one now or also wait till it gets better well that is it for today guys don't forget to like comment subscribe ring that bell icon and as always have a superb day and thanks for watching